We are with the amazing Max Vernon, who is one of the composers of K-pop. Max, how much has K-pop changed from being at Ars Nova? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> it's changed a lot because that show, we built that for this space in which we were going up and down four different floors of a building in 50 different rooms. And now we are just at Circle in the Square. I don't want to say just at Circle in the Square because it's kind of a dream come true, but we've definitely retooled the show in order to work in that space and create something that is extremely dynamic and exciting for the audience. Now, I'm so curious to how you're doing this because when I saw you chose who you were following and followed them on their little route. Yes. Well, now there is a, kind of a beauty in that, I think, because everybody could have their own unique experience. But now we've crafted the narrative so that everyone will be able to experience all the moving parts. And uh, I think that's actually a more satisfying way to experience the show. Now, I was controversial when I saw the show because they asked the question of why K-pop wasn't popular in America. And I immediately said, because you can't sing along. Why did you say that you're going to be able to sing along now with K-pop? I would say that the experience of K-pop fandom is so many people have fallen in love with K-pop who are not even Korean and they learn Korean. My best friend, since I was 14 years old, came to see K-pop and she started taking K-pop lessons, I mean Korean lessons, and obsessively following BTS around the country. So I think that is the power of K-pop and I hope that everyone will be inspired to take up Korean and then they will be singing along. How did you get involved in K-pop? I became involved in K-pop uh, because uh, I had workshopped a musical at Ars Nova that was all electronic pop music, and so they knew me as a producer of that kind of music. And then Helen and I went to grad school, and we bonded over our love of pop music, and she played me a lot of her K-pop music that I fell in love with. And then when Ars Nova and Teddy from Woodshed Collective uh, approached me to do the project, I said, okay. I'm down, I was so down, and also we have to bring Helen on board, and then that launched a 10 year, almost 10 year journey of working on the show. Now I know you, you do more than one thing, you do costumes, you do plays, you write music, what else are you working on right now? Well, my other musical, The Tattooed Lady, will be premiering simultaneously with K-pop. <laughs> uh, that opens uh, about a week and a half before K-pop opens, and they'll be running at the same time. Uh, my musical, The View Upstairs, was just translated into Japanese, and it ran in a 1,600-seat theater in I Tokyo. Congratulations, I saw that. Um, and I'm about to get on a train and go workshop my musical show and tell right after this. So it's a, it's a crazy year. <laughs> Where's your other show playing? Uh, I'm doing that at Bard College right now, and then Tattoo Lady is going to be at Philadelphia Theatre Company. I am so excited for you, and I look forward to seeing more of this journey. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,